Okay, so welcome to part three of this. And what I what I quickly did is I started um, just putting some things together, and I'll go through those in a second. Um, and what we're actually going to do is we're going to delete most of this, and we're going to make it a bit more modular, and we're going to have a think about how we actually want to do this. So um, I'm going to grab everything here um, and delete. So um, quite often you'll do this in um, code. Um, copy it first. I'm just going to paste it. Um, quite often you might write some stuff and you go, "Oh, that's terrible," um, and you're, you've got um, your stuff happening and you go, "Oh no, what's?" Um, doesn't work, doesn't work, so sometimes it's just easier to delete and, go and start again. So we've got our design document. Um, so inventory is just an array, a list of stuff. No, we need to actually have some features to it. So ideally, um, later on, you might do it object oriented programming, or you might do it as a class, and I probably would, but we're just going to do it as a dictionary and we're going to have some functions that operate on the dictionary just as a teaching exercise to make it nice and simple. Um, and we're going to do these as um, a dictionary as well, key value pairs. So, our inventory, so we're just going to go var inventory equals and we're actually going to pre-populate because we know what stuff is going in. So it has a key name and a value is going to be all right just been interrupted there so it's welcome back, welcome back to me so um okay so we've got inventory it's got a name and this is going to be um our back pack so and then when we declare it like this we do the key and the value separate by colon and then we do a comma after that and then on the next line we're going to put some um of the features into it. Now I went through and I did max size, max weight, max items and all those sort of things. So we're going to do max size and the value is going to be large. So we can put large items in here. Um, our max um, weight and I'm making stuff up. I said 125. So 100 whatevers our max um, items, so how many items can we put in it? 25, if it was a lady's purse, we could put an infinite number of items in it. Um, and if it was a man's satchel, it probably might be four items. Um, we also need to track our current items. And we've got no current items, we've got um, current items, we've got none current um, weight and that is zero and what else did I think we needed? Um, current item count. We don't need that. Um, current item. I don't know why I did it twice. And the last thing we need is actually the items themselves and this is going to be an empty array. So what we've got here is we've got a backpack and um, so it's a global variable and it's called a backpack and it's got some attributes there. Now um, I'm going to create that one item to start with and this is just going to be our bar, it's going to be a red potion and it's going to equal a dictionary it's going to have a name. Um, this is our red potion. It's going to have a description. And this, this potion is bright red and looks dangerous. It will heal. end comma at the end of it. Um, I'm going to have a weight. I'm going to say this, but it's primary function, so it weighs two. Um, a size.
small. And what else do I need? Size, what else do I say? Ah, and I actually had a category buff, debuff, and a cost. So I'm just gonna copy those, I'm gonna copy those across. Um, and I'll explain. So category is use, so I can use it. Um, the other category would be equip. So use means um, that we use it and it's gone. Equip means we use it and it's um, sort of buff. Buff, we're gonna um, increase our hit points by 50. But this one also decreases our strength by one. Now, later on, we might put a timer um, on that. We could um, put, like so, timer, and we're gonna say for three rounds. And our cost is gonna be two gold and one silver. So that's our item. And I'm going to do, also do var money equals, and that's this one. And we know we have gold. I'm going to start with 10 gold and silver. Um, we're going to start with zero silver. Okay, so we've got a red, we've got those things. So now we're going to introduce a function, some functions. And the functions are going to be pick an item up, um, drop an item, and then we might look at doing some um, u like using items and things like that. So, um, so let's think about um, let's think about some logic here. So, picking something up. So, in JavaScript, we use the function keyword, and we're going to pick or add item to inventory. Inventory, and we need to know what the item is. Item. Okay. So it's we're going to pass an item into this, so we'll have access to whatever this item is inside. So we've got our inventory. So we know that um, inventory is this thing here. <coughs> it's a global variable. Um, it's called a backpack, maximum size. So can we put an item in this. So we've got to do some checks. So if, um, so we're going to check if the item, so let's think about this. If item size is greater than inventory max size, then no. So we'll think about what else. Does. So if item weight plus current inventory weight is greater than uh, greater than I should uh, our size is greater than uh, is greater than our inventory max weight no if and if our inventory item count plus one is greater than our max items, no. <clears throat> so we've got three situations. So um, we're going to see if we, so we're adding it to the inventory. So we've got our maximum weight. So if our weight is higher than this, or our current weight plus this, so if this was 55 plus two is higher than that, we can't put it in. If small, if large, so this, this would be interesting because like, it's a little bit of logic to go in, like small, medium, large, like so small, medium, large. Um, we could write a little function to do that, but we might, well, yeah, we might do that. Um, and so we'll work that out. Um, then we, so if I try to put a large item in there, or a very large, so let's go very large. 
so we've got four sizes. Um, so if you put a very large item in there, it wouldn't work. Um, and if we had more than 25 items in there, it would not work as well. So let's check the first one. So this, um, let's well let's start from the bottom go because the the um, size one is going to be a little bit um, complicated, but we can work that. So if um, so inventory item count. So we've got inventory and items dot length. So we well, Oh, do we need it? We can no. So we don't need current items. So let's get rid of current items because we don't need that. So we can go if inventory dot and we've got items dot length plus one is greater than max um, inventory dot max items. And we're going to just say, we're just going to say, um, no, so I'll write a function. So display message, we're going to say, what's the message? Item. Plus item dot name plus so we're gonna say actually we just lead off with item name does not fit in your in take something out you have too many so we're just playing that. So we might, we're going to have to write this function here. So let's do that. Function display message. Um, and we're passing a message msg. So we've got this message that we're displaying. msg, display message. And the message is going to be that. So that's going to change each time. So we know that we're going to put it into this thing here, so um, we're going to go <sighs> content equals document dot get element by ID content. Okay, so we've got that. Um, and then we go content dot inner HTML plus equals. I'm going to put a break plus mess message and um, Dreamweaver um, auto complete stuff like so that's really cool. So add item to inventory so we've done that so we've done this one so and display it so else if so this is a second check if the weight item weight plus current inventory weight is greater than inventory max weight then we do no. So say we do item dot weight uh, where are we? Uh, inventory dot items item dot weight plus uh, in, so Item weight plus inventory dot max weight we're gonna have to do this. Sorry, we can use oh, we can use we can use dot notation somewhere, like but um, if its class is greater than Is greater than inventory dot we can do max 
x, right? Then we're going to say, what are we going to do? We're going to say, item name does not fit in your, um, let's customize this a bit more, um, plus inventory dot name, plus like that, take something out, um, it is too heavy. So we've written two parts of it. So, um let's do something let's test that now so let's put a button in and we'll put a button in for our red potion when we click it it's just going to add it so we're going to put a button in so uh, where are we going to put that let's put it in the content right at the top um, so content we're going to go horizontal oh, we'll get rid of content and we're going to say button ID equals, and we're just going to call it add for now. Um, and this is our red potion. Now, when you're doing your game, this would be a sprite um, and pretty much similar stuff. Like we're going to add a click it handler to our button. So when we click it, something's going to happen. So, um, to do that, we're going to say document. Um, we're going to say add button equals document dot get element by ID add. Okay, so get element by ID. So that's that button so, um, let's, so get element by ID so we've got add button add button dot add event listener now our type is click and we're going to say function now, this is a little bit scary so what we're saying is give this button and then we're going to listen for an event click and then when we click we're going to run this function and this just might go alert clicked and you guys going you typed it wrong you made a typo and I'm going like be quiet you're a bunch of idiots you can't hear I can't hear you talking to me it's a video so please don't talk Please don't talk at me. I can't hear you. Just pay attention. Um, okay, so, sorry about that. Um, so, hopefully this will work. Let's have a look. So, we've got that. We've got our HTML over here. We've got our red potion, and it's not working. So, let's see why it's not working. Uh, inspect, and we can see errors and things here. Fail to, uh, what's that saying? So, Play.js, yeah, that's all right. Uncaught syntax error, the unexpected token on line 19. So in 23 as well. So, ooh, that's good. Um, let's have a look. 19 of main. So line 19. I haven't got the end of that. And that means that on here, uh, 23. So what's it saying there? Let's go back over here. Right, let's. Is it going to work? Let's refresh. Uh, 19, unexpected token on 19. Okay, so. String debuff. Ah, because I don't have a colon there. So. Uh, I don't have a colon there. So that should fix that up so let's so just a little bit so uh, missing bracket after argument list line 49 so you just go inspect element and it will give you a lot of errors and you get a lot of errors um that um will debug a bit later but so 49 
Um, oh, it's expecting. Uh, what are we expecting? What's it say? Over here. Line 49. Missing that after argument list. So, 49 function. There you go, there was a typo. Um, so, let's see if that's going to, it's going to work. It's about here. Um, testing is still got one on 34. I'm going to just fix that up. Um, So I'm 34, it's just the same that thing. So yeah. It's a bit, so, a bit free soft. Um, so let's have a look. So haven't got anything there, so red potion, click. So when we click the red potion button, something's gonna happen. So we're going to actually add that to our inventory. So back to our Dreamweaver. So in here, so rather than clicking that, we are going to, so we're adding a red potion. So we're gonna say, add item to inventory. So we're gonna call this function, add item to inventory. And we're gonna add red potion. So um, at the moment, I'm checking out those two. So we're gonna go else, we're gonna, um, we're going to actually put it into the inventory. So, E L E L S E else. So, we're going to say item dot inventory dot items dot push item. Okay. So that's putting it in there. But we're going to go inventory dot current weight plus equals item dot dot current uh, we got item dot weight dot weight inventory dot um, what else have we got? Current weight. We could change that, change that. So that might be all we need to do. Um, inventory, we've got a weight, we increase that. Max items, we're checking for that. Current weight, so that's pretty much all we need to do. So what I'm going to do is our last function we're going to write before we actually run this is we're going to have a function called uh, function display inventory okay uh, brackets and brackets so function display inventory so this one is going to be we're going to go um, our content var content equals uh, we need to go to var up here let um, equals document dot get element by id content content um, so four and we're just going to use like over here we're just going to use something very similar to this so I'm going to actually grab the code we wrote earlier aren't you glad I copied it and I'll explain as we do it so uh, actually I will explain this as we go so four and we're going to have a counter var and I is a traditional counter. I could actually go counter, but um, and then I would have to refer to counter inside the loop. So var counter equals zero. Counter is less than my inventory dot items dot length, and then counter. Plus, plus, plus. So, um, we're not going to worry about money. We're going to display that separately. Um, we're, like, we're not going to actually add it into our um, inventory. Um, 
We actually might even add um, it as a separate. So um, money, and we're going to just say that as a dictionary, and um, I'll show you how we can set that up. Um, so we're not going to worry about that. We've got money is separate, so we don't have to go all that weird. What do we? All right, so well, let's have a look. So um, our item bar, our item equals inventory dot items counter. So our first item will be a red potion. So we've got the item and we're going to go our dis bar display text equals item dot name Okay, and then because we're displaying our inventory, so we're going to put some stuff at the top. We're going to go um, inventory, uh, inventory header equals inventory dot name plus current weight. Plus inventory dot current weight. So we're going to grab that. So, and then um, display text is item dot name. So we've got that. We're going to say content dot inner HTML plus equals inventory header and then say content dot inner HTML plus equals display text. So possibly not the most effective way, but as I said, just learning. So plus equals means um, t take the value of this and add that to it. Um, so that should display our inventory. Um, we should be able to add an item to that. Um, we might... I'm just thinking, when we add an item, we need to clear the inventory um, and but we won't worry about it. We'll just append it and it'll scroll and all that sort of stuff. We can fix that up later. So let's have a look at this. Um, so we're going back to our Chrome. So red potion. Current, um, so refresh this. So control R to refresh here. So no major errors. So red potion. Why is that not doing anything? Let's have a look at. Dreamweaver, um, add that, um, oh, because we haven't actually called display inventory. So now when it refreshes, refresh, backpack can't wait, one red potion. Um, is it going to let me keep going? Why is that not? Updating. Um, let's have a quick look. Um, that one. So refresh. One. Yeah, so we got one red potion. Why? No, it said backpack. Like red potion. So why can't we add another? There. Let's have a look at our logic. So, <clears throat> um, let's let's actually start using our. Um, we can, I'm going to write a function um, display um, debug. Very similar to 
this um, previous one, so we're just going to go. I'm actually going to copy this, but get that, and it's D. Get element by D, and it's our debug console. Um, and I'm just going to use that display debug. So um, display debug. Adding item name um, there and display debug so um, success so let's have a look at how that works back over here so refresh this here refresh so adding success. So it's not letting me click it again. Why not? Let's have a think. Okay, so I a little bit of um, issue there with how it's doing things, um, and it took me a little bit of sort of going around. But what it was was my button was actually inside the content, and we're actually rewriting it and. Um, the object that we actually attached to was being recreated and we weren't attaching to the right thing. So I also put a class item on this so that we can actually, um, later on, we can actually move it around. Like, so if you have a look at this, it's like really ugly stuck over there. But, um, and one of the other things that I do need to fix up is when we display our inventory, I was just displaying, um, doing some debugging there. Um, I'm actually going to clear out our um, this so equals to that um, and then we're going to keep adding to it so um, that should um, so if we refresh this close down my um, side console so if I do that current weight 2, red potion, so current weight 4, and and it should, oh it won't let me add it, and it should somewhere tell me, um, adding red potion, um, I'm not getting my error message, but it's not adding it, so display message, I don't know. So dis um, display message, display message, debug content, display message, display message, content, and we add it to the bottom. And I'm using that a bit, we? not really. Um, so why isn't it actually telling me that? Let's have a look. Um, display message should work. So bar uh, message equals. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to put that into there. And I'm going to display the message. And just to double check, I'm going to go console.log message, message, so just um, reload. So we're, we're not um, storing stuff here, I'm not seeing anything there, let's inspect here and go console, it does not fit in inventory, take something out, too many items, so um, how many items have we got in there? 25. Um, what I might do is just for this, I'm going to maximum number of items, I'm going to say it's three, maximum weight is going to be 10, um, and I'm going to weight is going to be five. Yeah, let's go five. Um, so let's look at this, go back to our web page, refresh. So weight is 5, 10, adding, 
but it's not coming up success. So it's not. So this is a weight issue. So the weight is not displaying. So if item weight is greater than that, so we know it's coming there. So var message equals. I'm just going to grab this. Message item is too heavy and console.block and this is just debugging. Um, message um, back over here, refresh one, two, three. Refresh does not fit in your backpack, take something out, it's too heavy. So the correct function, correct. Part of it is firing, but it's not doing the display message. So display message, message. We've got a document, get element by the content, so that's right. Message content in a HTML plus equals message. And that and that should be okay. somewhere. Um, I might just quickly change that to that to see what's going on. So refresh. So my display message is not working. So, um, but at least it's working. I'm going to pause it there. I'm going to fix um, fix a few things up. I'll go over what I fix up. This is getting a bit long. I suggest you watch it in double speed. Haha, <laughs> bit funny saying that right at the end. Thank you for watching. Um, hopefully it's making sense. I'm just going through um, writing some code, making some errors, like obviously. Um, going to find my typo um, in my code and I will do another one where I where got a bunch of items, adding them. We'll put some more buttons in, add different items. Um, we got a bit of the functionality. We've got to do sizing. Um, and then we'll do some buying and selling and things like that. So, um, thank you for watching.